Hey, it's Cindy and Jerry Joseph, and we tour a lot of homes. However, this one is near and dear to our heart, as this one is in Castle Hills, not too far from our home. Yeah, it's literally within 100 feet away from our house, and we thought we'd give it a, give it a try and uh, let you guys see what $900,000 can buy you in Castle Hills. Absolutely, so if this is the first time, I'm sure it isn't, but if it's the first time that you're visiting our channel, please make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can get access to videos what pretty much every week exactly so let's connect let's go so the kitchen is really the focal point of where you spend the majority of your time and this house actually has a pretty nice size open kitchen what do you think well the, the side of the kitchen is pretty open uh, however it's a bit dated and i can tell you though for me this is a dream kitchen for me right now because i can see myself doing a lot of work in here modernize the kitchen and bring this house to a um, chef dream kitchen yeah i mean there's tons of cabinetry which is really nice and the countertop so these are granite correct yeah, these are graded countertop, right? So basically, although uh, back in 2007 when this house was built, it was absolutely awesome, right? But now, if you look at it, looking at this countertop right now, it doesn't go with uh, the 2000 style that we are seeing, which is the quartz countertop, the natural stone uh, countertop. Uh, again, if you were to change this countertop here, it will bring the house uh, to a different next level. Yeah, so perhaps if you were to change the countertops, update these light fixtures, right? Because these have that, that what is it, like the oil bronze look? Yeah, the, the oil bronze look into it, and it's, um, it's a little bit dated. Uh, if you look at the entire scheme of this house, right? The house is a beautiful house. It's got good structure, good bones. However, a coat of paint, a uh, new paint, a uh, new countertop, uh, light fixtures, and different type of light bulbs, will bring this house to a whole different level, especially this kitchen area. Yeah, so for people that are looking at doing a remodel or a face look, face, I should say face lift on a home, how much would you spend to update this kitchen? Uh, to update this kitchen on average, again, you've got great cabinets, right? Uh, if you were to print the cabinets, appliances, countertop, uh, perhaps new flooring, you are probably looking at roughly about $40,000. Ooh, $40,000. Absolutely. So if you think about it, though, right? Higher end appliances are going to cost you roughly about six to eight thousand dollars right? And then you've got cabinets and you've got countertops. And if you're going to buy quartz or mm -hmm. natural stone, you're looking at about six, seven thousand dollars right off the bat. So, so you're including labor. So perhaps one of the reasons why this particular home is still on the market is because it does need some love. Exactly. But the love is happening right in this kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. So again, once you do the heavy lifting in the kitchen and you paint the house, this house automatically becomes um, a diamond in the world, right? Awesome. Well, I'm excited. This is four bedrooms, three and a half bath right around 4,000 square feet with an amazing outdoor basketball court. I can't wait for you to take a look at that. Right, and then plus to mention that uh, this is in Castle Hill, right? And I still do believe, my unbiased uh, opinion, is that this area is still way undervalued, right? If you're looking at 4,000 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bath, a nice kitchen, and plus the amenities that Castle Hill has to offer, this is, um, I believe, it's a new high in my opinion. 100% agree. Well, let's head to the owner's retreat. Okay, so here we are in the owner's retreat, and I have to say, the room is a pretty nice size, but man, it feels pretty dark. Well, it's very dark, right? Because of the paint that they are, they are using here, they use here, right? So you have the beige, the deep beige color, and the back wall where the bed is supposed to be, it's a dark brown color. Uh, let's um, turn around here so you can see it. So yeah, you can see it behind me, right? So then you are looking at it, it looks dark, but actually it's the paint, a new color paint, bring this place to a whole different level. New paint, new flooring, whole different level. Awesome. So moseying on into the owner's retreat bathroom. Well, it definitely leaves something to be desired. Yeah, um, again, um, looking at this, 
again, it has good structure, right? It has mm -hmm. two vanities and it has um, a tub and the big windows behind the, uh, mm -hmm. behind the tub. So again, looking at this spot here, to me, you have to redo the, um, this area. Uh, so you're probably looking at roughly, I would say about $10,000 10, to redo this bathroom. Again, you are looking at cabinets, countertops, a new shower and a new freestanding tub, right? Again, back in 2007, this kind of tub right here, it was awesome, right? But now, every house that I've done over the past 10 years, I've used the freestanding tub. To me, in my opinion, it's a whole lot sexier, it's a whole lot um, um, more function, and I really love them, right? So then we move that and put a new uh, tub here. We'll make this yeah. spot into uh, the next level. I agree. So definitely the tub, the shower, some new tile, um, also changing out this carpet, painting will certainly make this room pop and it really will have a different feel to it. Yes, uh, hopefully uh, I see the vision. Mm -hmm. I see it in my head and hopefully uh, if we find an owner that uh, will see that vision, uh, we can take this place to the next level. All right, let's go check out that backyard. Let's go, let's do it. I love outdoor space. The cool thing here is there's actually a professional outdoor sports court. So this is for all those basketball enthusiasts. I love this outdoor space with the basketball court, right? However, if you're not into basketball, you don't have kids that play basketball, it can be not as so much of a good attraction here, right? Again, to, um, to remove this, you are probably looking at uh, closely about five, six thousand dollars to uh, remove the basketball court and then uh, put something nice grass and even well, even a pool you can uh, put back here, right? And definitely, I think the new buyer should be able to remove this and then get a nice pool back here. And this spot again, take it to the next level. So here's the deal: if you're looking for that next home and you're not sure exactly what you need to do, hit us up. This is what we do all day, every day. We've been doing this for a really long time. Again, you get two for one, right? If you are the next. Really? Yes, yes, really. Uh, so if you are the next buyer for this home, we would love to connect and get this house to the next level for you. Absolutely. So be sure to hit subscribe, hit the like video and the bell notification so you can get instant access to weekly videos. We'll see and talk with you soon. Let's connect.